on to Aruna with as well. So Perul's just made some fantastic points around use cases and insurance and how to use these technologies. And we've done a report around fintech and insure tech, an area I'm obsessed with at the moment, very cool area. And Perul's just kind of highlighted that. And I'd keep you keen to know, Aruna, what the kind of interesting use cases are for AI and banking to give some context to this conversation. Yes, thanks, Tom. Thanks for the question. Uh, it's great to be here with all the great panel members and thanks for the invitation. So having uh, worked in banking for 20 years, I can see a lot of interesting use cases. I'll start off with credit risk. So traditionally, uh, when someone wants to buy a loan, we look at their uh, income, their account history and their uh, repayments. But not everybody has got an account history. You know, people who are migra newly migra migrating or entering into the workforce. So this is where we use ML alg algorithms. We can actually look into the digital footprint. Uh, we can look at their social media data. We can look at their, uh, you know, browsing behavior in order to create a complete credit profile of yeah. the consumer. But this way we are able to, um, you know, service to all sections of the society and still reduce the uh, risks of the loan. The uh, second use case I can think of is fraud. So traditionally we use rule based uh, methods to detect fraud with the digitization. Uh, more and more services are going online, which means more channels for fraudsters as well. Now using AI and ML, we can um, analyze each and every individual's consumer behavior as opposed to the normal consumer behavior uh, and uh, look for anomalies. And uh, all of this can be done in real time. The third uh, most important use case for me personally, though, is the data protection and privacy. Um, as you know, banks have got a lot of data. They can have personal and sensitive information. So we use ML, alg ML algorithms to actually sniff through the data within the systems and identify where the sensitive data is there, how it's been stored, it's been encrypted or not, uh, and make the necessary changes. So these are some of the, uh, you know, uh, typical use cases, uh, uh, but um, you know, using more and more sophisticated algorithms to address the um, problems. 